Well, my brother, I hope that this interview will enlighten a, a lot of your, well, particularly the youth. Dang, gonna be enlightened. Why not? So I pop to your blood in your drop. They ain't gonna listen. They have to listen to somebody. I didn't listen. I didn't listen until I came here. Bad people was telling me, watch out, look out. Signs up ahead. I said, yeah, I got this, I got this. You know what I mean? I hope they listen. Nowadays, that's the one younger than me. They don't want to hot things because they don't do anything all day long. They don't care. They ain't got no fear. Don't, under, don't underestimate the youth. Oh no, I got mad props in them. I'm, I was yeah. one of them, but I'm just telling you yeah. what's real. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A hard hand make a soft behind. It took five bullets for me to stop and see what was really going on. So you drop to the ground so I get the pop. So I put you in the jump and your crown fall up. As Muslims, we can't be so short-sighted. But with these examples comes that rough nature, becomes the rude boy culture, becomes the suffering of people, becomes the pushing of drugs, becomes the selling of drugs, the taking of drugs, taking advantage of someone's daughter, taking advantage of someone's sister, disrespecting your elders. It's all negative. Someone saying how he's gonna shoot someone, how he's gonna kill someone. That kid outhood, the adulthood image. But it's all about the grime in the ends. And this is what our Muslim youth are also listening to, taking an example from. You can blame that as again down to two things, the first I've mentioned. If they don't know about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, naturally they're going to want to be like. So they're going to take unto other examples. Or the other thing they may know, but it's their circle of friends unfortunately which keep them in a certain way of life. That way of life has got its natural pull. Because shaitan and nafs are with us. We don't want to walk in the street and someone to look down upon us and, and despise us. You don't want to be an outcast. So you feel comfortable joining a group of people. And what they do rubs off on you. I hate talking, you know, sometimes I don't even like talking about these subjects. But it takes people to address it to realize we have a problem. We can't sweep these things underneath the carpet. Because how many Muslims do we find in jail? How many Muslims do we find doing time for crimes that they committed against people? Look how our youngsters go on. They're driving in gangs of people in cars, pumping their, their hip hop music, their, reg their rap tunes, their reggae tunes and staring at people, screw-facing people as they're walking past. Attitude, aggression, showing that we're something, we, got, we can do what we want to do. The Muslim wasn't sent for this, Allahu Akbar. We were sent to actually show people the right way and say to them, look, you know, this is the right way, this is the wrong way. We've fallen into that trap ourselves. But the nuskha to the solution is simple. We need to fix up. We're fortunate we don't have to take that path. How can a person say, yeah, I have no choice? I had to get by, survive. But you ain't no Tupac and Biggie. What are you saying I need to survive and sell rocks to survive? What did you need to survive? You were getting a benefit. You were getting help. You had a family around you. But you just wanted to look glamorous. You wanted that rude boy way of life. You wanted to be in that society. You wanted to be in that circle. But this is why it's such a vicious circle. You could jack someone, attack someone. You're never going to see them again. That is on your head until Qiyamah. And what? Temporarily, for 15 seconds, you look like a rude boy. You look good. And for 15 years now, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna eat yourself at your heart. Why did I do this? Well, why did I do this? Until the day you die, it will, it will haunt you. Don't take this as something minor. We all need to fix up. Whether it's youth and gangbangers, boys running right wild in their ghettos, this is a nasiha for them. This is a nasiha for everybody. We need to adopt that which is loved by Allah and Allah's Rasul. Qasam by Allah, this is our success.